Good morning, YouTube. Welcome in. Today, we got an absolutely beautiful build for you. Today, we are finally building in the Height Y70 Touch. That's right. This has been asked about in our Discord, asked about for a while. When are we going to finally get our hands on the new touchscreen Y70? Yes, we're talking a touchscreen panel in the front corner of the case. We also said, why not? Let's go all out in the system with the whiteout build. We have the Strix 4080 Super coming in. We have the B650 Strix board housing that beautiful 1700X 3D. And then on top of that, we're cooling it with the LCD version of the Infinity Galahad 2 AIO. Absolutely insane system. We've got seven Infinity fans. We have three NZXT fans down below cooling that beautiful 4080 Super. Absolutely all white out with multiple screens. This is absolutely ridiculous. We went a little overboard on it. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure to that like button as well to help us with the algorithm over here on YouTube. Make sure to the subscribe button as well if you want to catch more of these beautiful builds uh, over here on YouTube. And if you want to catch us live on a raw like it is right now, you can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash students at 10 a.m. And we start at 10 a.m. Eastern. We hope to see you soon. Today's going to be a big one. I mean, look at all those parts. This is absolutely killer. This is a, a really high-end and aesthetic build as well as high-end performance. We have 700X3D, 6,000 CL30 RAM, a 2 terabyte NVMe drive. We've got the beautiful B650A board coming from uh, Asus and the Strix. We have the Strix 480 Super down there. We have the Infinity, uh, the Galahad 2 Infinity LCD as well. Um, this is ridiculous and then we obviously we're putting it all in the beautiful new y70 touchscreen case yeah it's gonna be big it's actually going over on our quick ships too so this will be available at, probably at the end of today here we're bored got our cooler take the case down which is heavy and i wish they would have uh, covered our handle over here with the shipping label all right we know top down guys get started there we go we got a beautiful strix board today all right first gonna be our cpu check out the socket make sure it looks good no bed pins no bed pins the 700X 3D out, so when you drop it in. All right, down and in we go with the 700X 3D. Right down and in. Right in place, pop the top, there we go. Next, we're working on our storage. Today we have a two terabyte KT3000 drive. Got a bunch of these in finally yesterday. Got to ship one out to a wonder customer who wants to upgrade on his. Get that out. Let's get our, our NVMe drive cover off. Down and in we go, the two terabyte drive from Kingston, the KT3000. There we go. Get cell fan off our thermal pad here. Self dissipate heat so it's not going around the GPU, the CPU. These M.2 drives get pretty toasty. Screw back down with a low torque screwdriver that we use here. There we go. Next is going to be our cooler standoffs. So today we have the LCD Infinity cooler from the Galahad 2. So they just go to this. This is right here. This is our AMD. So they're replacing the factory standoffs with their, with their own kind of plastic standoffs here. So it uses the factory screws but it replaces the standoff. Okay, so it uses the factory tension screws and just replaces the standoff. Got it. Okay, easy peasy. So we're gonna pop these out. It's gonna go like so, and they face up towards the CPU. So perfect, just like that. So it's got their own bracket, just replaces it. And use that retains the factory standoff screws. All down and in. Okay, we have 6,000 CL30 RAM coming from Team Group. Delta, 6,000 C30. Boom, boom. Down and we go. There we go. Look at that. Looking great. Looking good. Again, the B650A coming in from Asus and the Strix board. Uh, we have the 700X3 down in the socket. Our standoff's now in place for the beautiful LCD Infinity 2 uh, AIO, the Galad 2. And then we have um, a 2 terabyte NVMe drive down here in our primary NVMe slot 1. And then we have 6,000 CL30 RAM from Team Group and 32 gigs on the Team T-Force Delta RGB. Let's have this aside. Let's get this beautiful case out. I know this is what you guys are excited to see. Let's get it out. We got our first hands on the beautiful Y70 Touch. You've had this now for like two weeks. I, 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 like, I gotta build it. I gotta build it. So here we are. Let's see the front close up. I can't even see it yet. I'm gonna look at the screen over here and see what it looks like. Oh, okay. We've gotta protect the little cardboard. There it is. So we're taking the, taking the pieces apart here. Top panel's coming off. Back panel's coming off. Not just any Y70, it's the touch screen right here. So we have a mini display port and a type C cable coming right off of it, integrate it directly. That's awesome. We're gonna leave it on for now. Obviously it's being protected right now by the cover. We're gonna leave this in place for now. Make you guys wait. Take the front panel glass off. Front USB ports and audio jack at the bottom of the tower. It's becoming pretty standard now. So most people are putting cases like this on, on their desks versus like underneath their desk. Cause why would you case like this, unfortunately, and not sh want to show it off, you know? Let's get our motherboard down and in. We'll start looking at it more. So far, impressive. I got, I'm not taking the, uh, should I take the cardboard off? Woo, all right, I'll take it off. I'll take it off. I, I mean, I'll take it off so I can show you. Why not? There we go. And that's gonna be the touch screen right there. You guys want to see it, I'll let you see it, you know? 
get our motherboard in place. There we go, nice and easy peasy. All right, and we go with the riser cable. We're gonna plug or install this right now. There it is, perfect. All right, there's our display cable. Oh, so they give you a display cable to go from the GPU into the monitor there. It goes from a male connection inside here, like a mini display, the mini DP cable, to a display port cable here, and then you run it right next to it into your GPU. It's a cool little, uh, cool little tactic, a little trick that they did. That way, it's it's done correctly. Because although, like, I've done like different screens before, like mods, I've had to run them like ridiculously, like ridiculous ways through the cases. Like we did one for eight, so we had to run. We did the the, the twenty inch screen in her in her screen or her setup, and that was a fun one. So we're going to some more cables. I'm gonna flip this up, give you a front close up now. There we go, looking great. This is a great board for this system. I think it looks absolutely killer. A beautiful white Strix. Look at that. Whew. Wish that one thing, when you're paying, I mean, in this case, it's like a $400 case, I wish it would have had white, but it is what it is. SATA to USB 2.0, Ray. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That's what it uses. So it uses SATA, it uses SATA to uh, USB. So SATA powers it and USB, they have a USB header. So we have a USB header for that. And then we'll have a USB header for the, uh, all the goodies on the screen, for the LCD cooler. We have, we have internal USB hubs that we can use if we need to duplicate a SATA powered hub that we have here. All right, let's work on some of our front panel connections. We have first is gonna be our USB Type 3, our USB 3, there we go. That is in. Next is going to be our Type C. There we go, HD audio front panel connections. First is gonna be our front panel. There we go, let's down and in. All right, we're gonna go sideways with this now, chat. Here we go. Lay it gently on the side. We're gonna work on our bottom fans. Okay, oh, this is nice. We can mount them and then just slide right in. Goes in this bracket for intake fans on the bottom. This is three 120s on the bottom. Okay, perfect. Three 120s is what it'll be. We're gonna use two nice, really nice height. I have two nice white height fans we'll use on the bottom so that they use to match the aesthetic. There we go. They're nice height fans. There we go. That's plenty of airflow. I mean, that's gonna be really good airflow too. It's right there, unobstructed. Next is gonna be our side fans before we move on to the power supply. All right, let's get our three reverse fans today. We have three 120 Infinity fans that are reverse blade. Today's build. There we go, looking good. For our three reverse fan blades. All right, there we go. All the side fans are in. Just gotta take off the, the uh, little cellophane covers. Let's start working on our power supply next. 850PX850 today from Deepcool. This is a ATX 3.0 power supply. 850 is plenty for the 4080 Super and a 5700 XRD. If you're gonna be on an Intel platform, we'd say a thousand watt would be better, but this is gonna be perfectly fine. At peak, it's gonna hit around 600 watts. Deepcool PX850G. So we're on the cables, we'll need SATA today. 12 volt high power, 24 pin main. There's our 12 volt high power, EPS, EPS, or CPU. There's our SATA, we have one, two, three, four, should be enough for today. I believe we need uh, one on the cooler, one on the hub, one on the mother, yeah, four should be plenty today. Next we have our 24 pin main. Should be all of our cables today. All these other cables are going in the motherboard box. Start working on hooking these up back here. There it is, everything's all connected. Let's work on our cables first. First we're gonna our EPS. One and two. 24 pin main. I'll show you our cable management so far in the back. I think it's gonna be kind of messy as of right now, as I said, our GPU cable. But you can see we're trying to keep everything super clean in the back, looking really good. When I'm doing this, I can take off our little covers for our fans. Next, let's we'll start working on our rear fan. We have our rear fan, our rear 120, or 140. There it is. There we go, all right. Feed this through, good. All right, let's spin this back around so you can see what we're, what we're just doing. Put that beautiful 140 in the rear there. Now we have everything in. We're gonna start working our cooler, that's next. I'm gonna take this off for a second. This is in the, this is in the way. We got the pre-applied paste, perfect for this. So we're gonna go right in. We get this in before we move on to the next part, really quick. This is just our USB, uh, USB controller. We got all these cables out of the way now. We can get to them. You need AIO fan, CPU fan header. Just one. Get one more in. There we go. All right. A lot of space in this case, chat. A lot of space in this thing. Look at this. Whoo, it's looking good. It's looking real good. Looking real good. All right. I'm going to give you this way because I'm going to work on the angle back here. But there we are. Looking good. All right. Let's get that GPU. There it is, chat. Beautiful. 4080 Super today. Not only any 40 Super, we have the Strix Gaming OC overclocked version. We have an absolute monster GPU today. There it is. 
That's a big card in that case. Whoosh. We got the slots open that we need here. That's in there. I heard it, I heard it clip. Whoo, it looks good. All right, let's get our screws in. Let's get the power cable to it and get ready to start, ready to light this bad boy up. Look at that thing. Would you look at it? My goodness. Excited to see this one. I don't know if we'll see on the screen right away because we do have to um, get some stuff installed for that. Holy moly, it is a beautiful beast. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, hang out, chat it up with us, watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.